Hey everybody, it is Dak here from the Ed Boys, and welcome to my 1 to 99 cooking guide. Cooking is arguably the easiest 99 to get in the game, it's very AFK, and you can profit pretty well from it. In this guide, I'm going to talk about where you can train cooking, the things that you can do to make sure you burn less food while cooking, and quests that give cooking XP. And then we'll get in my actual leveling guide and the possible alternate methods for getting cooking XP. If at any point you have any questions about this video, you can leave them in the comment section below so we can get all that worked out. I'm also going to be trying not to ramble on too much, so if at any point you feel like you need to go back in the video and watch again because I'm going too quickly, feel free to do that. You can cook food in RuneScape on a fire or on a cooking range. For some food, you burn a little bit less on a range than you do on a fire, but it's not a big enough deal to be worried about. You could light your own fire if you wanted, but there is a permanent fire located in the Rogue's Den about as close to a bank as you can get. The Rogue's Den is located under the bar in Burthorpe. This is a very common place to cook, though depending on your cooking level, you could burn more food here compared to the Hosidious range, which is another location we'll talk about. You need 100% Hosidious favor to use this range, but you have a 5% increased chance of not burning food, which lets you cook higher level fish without burning them at lower cooking levels. Higher level fish will get you better XP rates, unless you're burning a lot of them. If you don't have the Hosidious favor done, hopefully I have left my link to my favor guide in the description. Here's the location of the Hosidious Range and the Xerix Talisman teleport to the Xerix Glade. I personally use the Hosidious Range for pretty much all of my cooking XP since the run to the bank is only a few steps. On the note of burning food less often, let's talk about the cooking gauntlets. These gauntlets are a reward from the Family Crest quest, which is a pretty low requirement, easy quest to get done. The cooking gauntlets decrease the chance of burning some different fish. I don't suggest going for 99 cooking without these, since they are going to boost your XP rates very nicely. Alright, let's talk a little bit more about burning food. If you find yourself burning a lot of food, you'll be getting less XP, obviously. Even one fish per inventory is going to change 200k an hour, 298k an hour. Not a game-changing number, but on the way to 99, it is a large chunk of your hours and a decrease in profit, too. I have left a link to the wiki's full chart on what levels you stop burning each piece of food at. But you don't really have to wait for that level that you 100% stop burning food, especially with lower levels. We'll talk about what level for each fish I do here in a minute, though. Before you sit down and start lighting fish on fire, let's talk about some quests that you could do to get a kickstart in your cooking life. If you absolutely refuse to do quests, I'll still be starting the leveling guide at 1, but you can skip some of these early levels very easily, though for cooking, there's not as many options as other skills. Cook's Assistant is many players' first quest that they ever get done in the game. The quick 300 XP will get you to level 4 fishing, which can save you some fish early on since you burn just about everything at level 1. Gertrude's Cat also gives some nice XP, which would get you to 12 cooking, and even though there's a bunch of other quests, that I've linked in the description, this alone would be a nice kickstart to some cooking XP. Let's get into the actual leveling guide. Keep in mind in this section, I'm assuming that you're using the cooking gauntlets and the Hosidious range. If you aren't using both, then you can assume that you'll have a little bit slower XP rates while you're burning more fish. I'm hoping that you guys have all at least done some quests for XP, but just in case, like I said, we're starting right at level 1. From levels 1 to 20, you should be cooking sardines. At level 1, you'll burn a large chunk of them, so your XP rates are on the lower side of things, and overall pretty fickle. But you only need 112 sardines for all 19 of these levels, so to get through the portion of this guide, you're not even going to get to a point where you have an accurate XP rate from Runelay. It'll be that quick. Levels 20 to 30, you can move on to Trout. You still only need to cook 128 Trout in this section, so overall, it's not going to take very long to get through. Keep in mind, we're still in the part of the guide where you're going to be burning some fish, so don't buy the exact amount of fish you need to get to the level. You're going to want to buy a few extras. Levels 30 to 50, you can move on to Salmon. You do need to cook 978 Salmon to get through this part, which is a little longer than the others, obviously, but this should still take you just under an hour to do. Levels 50 to 61, you can start cooking tuna. At the kitchen with cooking gauntlets, you're going to stop burning tunas at 59 cooking. And from that point forward, if you're doing everything off the levels I'm saying here, you shouldn't be burning any food. And if you don't AFK too hard, you'll be getting the best XP rates that you can. You need to cook 2010 tuna to get through this section of the guide. Levels 61 to 76, you can start cooking lobsters. Again, at this point, you shouldn't be burning any of them if you have the gauntlets and you're using the Hosidious Kitchen. You are going to need 8,618 lobsters to move on. You might be starting to notice that you need a lot of fish for the levels at this point, but cooking is one of the fastest capes in the game, so it's not going to take you that long. Levels 76 to 82, you can move on to swordfish. You're going to need 7,748 swordfish to get yourself to 82 cooking. 82 to 89, you can start with the monkfish life. You're going to need 16,142 fish to move on to the next section, which is a lot of monkfish. Most fish tend to profit, but once you get to monkfish, this is where I consider the profit to be somewhat reasonable, though you never make a ton of money from cooking. 
Levels 89 to 93, you can start cooking sharks. 11,207 cooked shark should bring you to the next section of the guide. Many players stick to shark for the whole 99 since they do profit better than anglers, but I find it's better to get the faster XP and make up your money somewhere else. Levels 93 to 99, I would move on to anglerfish. 25,387 anglerfish will be needed to get your cooking skill cape up to this point. You still do profit off of anglerfish, even though they tend to be a little less than sharks. But this is the final stretch, everybody. Now that I've gone through the normal leveling guide, or basically the fish leveling guide at this point, let's talk about alt methods. First of all, we have wines. Making jugs of wine is fairly AFK, but it's also going to cost you money instead of making a little bit of profit. You need 68 cooking to start making wines, and you don't get XP right as you make the wine. There's a 12 second delay for the wine to ferment, and if you make another wine while waiting on that delay, it just resets. So, it means if you do a few thousand wines just back to back, you get a huge XP drop if you finally wait to get the XP, which is kind of fun. I get like 450 to 500k an hour while doing wines, and overall, it only costs like 10 to 15 mil for the 99, so this is not a bad method. Let's go ahead and talk about Carambons too. Carambons have no delay to cook, so if you take a full inventory and use each Carambon in the Rogue's Den fire while holding down two for the shortcut, you can cook one Carambon every tick. This is super click intensive, but maxes out at like one mil cooking XP per hour. Honestly, I find keeping one mil for a full hour is a pain in the ass, and I'm usually averaging closer to 600k an hour from a combination of misclicks and then giving my wrist a break occasionally. The kick here is that Karambwans also profit pretty well too. You can make up to 750k an hour if you're nearly at max pace, but realistically, you're getting like 450 to 500k GP an hour, which really isn't terrible profit. I would like to quickly throw dark crabs in here too while we're at it. Currently dark crabs are a solid profit per crab, in fact if you don't burn any crabs it's like 350k an hour which is one of the better AFK money makers for cooking in the game if not the best at the moment. The thing is you stop burning dark crabs at 99 cooking so this is only really viable for the last level or two for getting your skill cape, but I thought it was an interesting enough money making method that I would throw it in there quick. I believe that's all the info that I had for you guys about cooking. If you enjoyed the video or you got some useful information from it, be sure to hit that like button. And if you have any questions or comments about the video, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. I've left links to my Twitch and my Twitter in the description below if you're looking for more content. Thank you very much again for watching everybody and best of luck on your cooking grind.